Testimony continues on day three of the impeachment trial of suspended Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Right now, jurors are listening to testimony from Ryan Vassar. He's one of the whistleblowers who was fired from the AG's office. KVU Sports Sanders is live from just outside the Senate chamber at the Texas State Capitol where this hearing is happening. And for, before Vassar took the stand, jurors heard from Ryan Bangert, who was Ken Paxton's second in command. Jenny Brian Bangert is also one of those eight whistleblowers, and he resigned after he reported Paxton to the FBI. Bangert told jurors about the actions Ken Paxton directed him to take, contrary to what was normal, in order to help Austin real estate investor Nate Paul. Detailing a lunch the AG asked him to attend with himself and Paul, where Paul drove them to a restaurant and made his case against the nonprofit, the Mitty Foundation. That was after Paxton instructed the AG's office to intervene in a lawsuit between Paul and the foundation. Bangert described watching the trust he once had in his boss and friend crumble. It was incredibly heartbreaking because I had believed in Ken Paxson and what he has, had been doing for years. I'd moved my family here to Austin specifically to go to work for him. And I watched all of these things that we had done as a leadership team slowly begun to begin to unravel. Ryan Vassar, Paxson's former deputy attorney general for legal counsel and a whistleblower who was fired from the AG's office, took the stand next. He became emotional on the stand when asked about Paxson's statements that the whistleblowers were, quote, rogue employees. The statement of being rogue is contrary to the years that I dedicated my life to the state. Vassar went on to tell the court about interactions between himself and Paxton, where Paxton was urging him to release sealed law enforcement documents to Nate Paul about the federal investigation into Paul. Now, Vassar noted not only was that unprecedented, but also could put people involved in danger. Live from the Texas State Capitol, Ford Sanders, KVU News. Thank you, Ford. KVU senior reporter Tony Pohetsky joins us now for analysis on the impeachment trial. Hi, Tony. Tony, you've covered law enforcement for a long time now. Is it rare for a journalist or a member of the public uh, to get records in an ongoing investigation? It's not rare for us to try, but, it, <laughs> but, well, it, right? but, it, but in all seriousness, it is extremely rare for the attorney general's office to rule against a law enforcement agency and rule in favor of a member of the public seeking information. I was thinking about this this morning. Let's look at Uvalde last oh. year. There was mm -hmm. so much public interest in obtaining records and documents from inside that investigation. The Texas Department of Public Safety at the behest, they say, of the Uvalde District Attorney declined to release that information. That request then went to the Attorney General's office, and the Attorney General's office shut it down and said no because uh, it is a pending investigation. Texas law is very clear that those records can't be released. So then when you hear this testimony from these witnesses saying that Ken Paxton was doing all sorts of cartwheels, according to them, to get information for one person who was the target himself of an FBI investigation, it is striking, I think. Tony, we've seen some emotion, right, in the testimony. What do you make of that? Legal experts will tell you, of course, in a trial like this, what is first and foremost are the facts that are disclosed by the witnesses on the stand. But at the same time, though, it builds credibility or can build credibility, according to legal experts I've been talking to. When you do see a hint of emotion or more than a hint, when they actually open up their emotions, and we saw that very clearly, as you see there with Ryan Vassar on the stand today, he was the first witness to actually become tearful but we saw other types of emotion, including anger and frustration from the previous uh, two witnesses that we have heard over the course of the past three days. And all three witnesses thus far have been attorney general office employees or were up until the time they were left. Which is left. important yeah. within itself because you can know that they know the rules of the road, the, how this game is played. They've kept notes, they've kept documents. And so they're bringing that to bear during this trial. All three also whistleblowers in this uh, Correct. case. All right, Tony Pohetsky, thank you for that analysis. Absolutely. And of course, you can watch each day of the impeachment trial on KVU.com, the KVU YouTube channel, and KVU Plus. Look for KVU on Fire TV, 
Apple TV and Roku devices. We're carrying the trial in its entirety from the state capitol, providing analysis from KVU managing editor of political content, Ashley Godot, and our own senior reporter, who you just heard from, Tony Plohetsky. That's every day here on KVU.